Tadasana. Tadasana, or the mountain pose, is the basic standing asana. Start by standing straight and keeping both your feet together. Raise your hands only slightly with your palms facing your thighs. Keep the heels firm. Tighten every part of your body, the legs, the knees, and the thighs. Tuck in your stomach and tighten your elbows. Do not tense your neck. Broaden your chest and remember to breathe normally. Stay for 20 to 30 seconds. Tadasana corrects bad posture and strengthens the back. Now slowly relax your body. Doing this every day would really help, but you need to do it at least three times a week to get the benefit of the asana. Urdhva Hasta Asana Starting from Tada Asana or the Mountain Pose. Stretch your arms over your head with the palms facing each other. Breathe normally as many people tend to hold their breath. Stay for half a minute. This pose teaches you to stand correctly and makes the mind alert. Now slowly bring your hands down and relax. Vrikshasana Vriksha asana or the tree pose is a standing asana that improves balance. Stand in Tadasana. Bend your right knee and holding your ankle with your hand, place your right foot on your inner left thigh. Rest your hands on your hips. Stretch your arms up and join your palms. Stay for 30 seconds to one minute. It can get challenging initially but stand firm and focus at one point on the floor to maintain balance. Slowly bring your hands down and return to Tadasana. Now keep your right leg straight and bend your left leg. Do the pose on the other side. Vriksha Asana strengthens the shoulders and legs and improves concentration. You now know what to practice to help you focus while setting. Utkata Asana In this asana, we pretend to be sitting on a chair, and therefore it is also called the chair pose. Start by standing in Tadasana. Stretch your arms upward and join your palms. Bend your knees and look straight ahead. Do not forget to breathe normally. Stay for 5 to 15 seconds. This asana strengthens the ankles, calves, inner thighs, and back. Remember not to lean forward while doing this asana. Now, slowly come up and bring your hands down. Relax your body. Utita Trikona Asana Utita means extended and Trikona means triangle. Stand in Tadasana. Spread your legs two to three feet apart and your arms sideways. Stand with toes pointing forward and palms turned down. Turn your right foot out 90 degrees and your left foot in slightly. 
Bend sideways to the right and place your right palm on your right ankle or on the floor. Stretch your left arm up. Look up at your left hand's fingertips. This is Uthita Trikona Asana. Stay for 10 to 20 seconds on each side. Now slowly come up and turn your feet straight with your toes pointing forward with your arms raised on each side. Now turn your left foot out 90 degrees and your right foot in slightly. Do the pose on the left side. This asana shapes the legs and strengthens the ankles. It improves the flexibility of the spine and corrects alignment of the shoulders. It helps to treat neck sprains and relieves indigestion and acidity. Slowly come up and place your feet straight with your toes pointing forward. Return to Tadasana and then relax your body. Virabhadra Asana Virabhadra was a mighty warrior, hence this asana is also known as the warrior pose. Stand in Tadasana. Spread your legs three to four feet apart and your arms sideways. Stand with toes pointing forward and palms turned down. Turn your palms up. Raise your arms and join your palms over your head. Keep your elbows straight. Turn your right foot out 90 degrees and your left foot in slightly. Turn your upper body and hips to the right. Bend your right knee to form a right angle. Look up at your fingertips. This is Virabhadra Asana 1. Stay in this pose for 10 to 20 seconds on each side. Do not lean forward, but stay firm in place. Remember to breathe normally. Now, first lower your head and then come up. Turn your body and foot to the front. Do the pose on the left side. This asana increases stamina and develops the lungs and chest. It also strengthens the shoulders and back muscles. Now slowly come up and return to Tadasana before relaxing your body. Virabhadra Asana 2 This is a variation of the Virabhadra Asana 1. Start by standing in Tadasana. Spread your legs 3 to 4 feet apart and your arms sideways. Stand with toes pointing forward and palms turned down. Turn your right foot out 90 degrees and your left foot in slightly. Turn your face to the right. Bend your right knee to form a right angle. Keep your left leg straight and stretch as much as you can. Look at your right fingertips. Stretch your arms as if they were being pulled in opposite directions. Breathe normally. This is Virabhadra Asana 2. Stay in this pose for 10 to 20 seconds on each side. Now slowly look straight and come up. Turn your feet towards the front. Now do the pose on the left side. Virabhadra Asana 2 will make your legs powerful. It strengthens the back and stomach muscles. Once you have done this asana on both sides, return to Tadasana and then relax your body. (laughs) 
ಉತ್ತನ ಆಸನ Uttana asana is also known as the intense forward stretch. Stand in tadasana. Bend forward and touch your toes. Tighten your kneecaps and thighs. Exhale and bend further. Hold your ankles or place your hands by the side of your feet on the floor. Breathe normally. Hang your head loose. and let it touch your knees this is uttana asana start by staying in the pose for 20 seconds slowly increase the duration to about 1 and 1/2 minutes this asana helps to remove fatigue and improves concentration it is a great exercise for the stomach liver kidneys and heart slowly come back to tadasana and then relax your body Adho Mukha Shwana Asana This pose is also called the downward facing dog stretch because it resembles a dog stretching its front legs. Stand in Uttana Asana and rest your hands by the sides of your feet on the floor. Bend your knees and take a big step back one leg at a time. Make sure that the distance between your feet is the same as that between your palms. Spread your fingers and toes. Stretch your arms and legs, bring your head to the floor. The body forms an inverted V. This is Adho Mukha Shwana Asana. Stay in this pose for 30 to 60 seconds. It tones the leg muscles and strengthens the ankles. It also refreshes the brain. Gradually lift your head off the floor. Walk your feet towards your palms and stand up in Tadasana. Relax your body. Surya Namaskar. Start the Surya Namaskar by standing erect facing the sun. Keep your feet together and palms joined in a prayer or namaskar pose. Take deep breaths to regulate your breathing. Inhale and raise your arms above your head in upward salute or urdhva namaskar. Tilt slightly backward arching your back. Look up at your hands. Exhale slowly and bend forward, placing your palms on either side of your feet and your forehead touching your knees. This is Uttana Asana. Inhale and take your right leg back in a big backward step. Keep your hands firmly in place and your left foot between your hands tilt your head up with a slow exhalation move your left foot back to where your right foot is keep your arms straight raise your hips and bring your head close to the floor inhale deeply your body should form an inverted v Do not bend your knees. This is Adho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale and lower the body to the floor. Let only the forehead, chest, hands, knees and feet touch the floor. Inhale and lift your chest into the cobra pose and keep your arms straight and in place. Exhale and slowly raise your hips to come back to the inverted V or Adho Mukha Svana Asana pose. Do not bend your knees. 
Inhale and move your right leg forward, placing your right foot between your hands. Tilt your head up. Exhale slowly and rise up, bringing your left foot forward to where your right foot is. See that the hands and legs are in line and your head touches the knees. Inhale and raise your arms above your head in the upward salute pose. Tilt slightly backward, arching your back. Stand firm in place. Exhale and slowly bring down your hands to your chest in the prayer pose.